hi friends uh, so I'm here again with my next uh, set of transformation for you so in this session what I am going to uh, go across is uh, the import column transformation that we have and uh, we'll be learning import and export uh, column transformation uh, do not mistake it uh, with the import export wizard that you have uh, for importing uh, the data from uh, various inter-platform sources and destinations. This is uh, a part of transformation in the data flow task uh, if uh, you would know. So basically uh, what uh, let me just walk you through a brief about uh, the import column transformation today. So import column transformation is uh, basically uh, when you uh, are trying in your SSIS package when you are trying to import uh, files by which uh, you would mean there would be some documents uh, which uh, are documents like a PDF file or an Excel file or .txt file images of, of employees and other uh, uh, files which are actually stored in, in, in the binary format into, into your uh, database uh, uh, table if you would so uh, I have uh, also uh, uploaded a video on uh, how to do it in from the SQL end uh, I mean, in terms where you are, where you, uh, I have a, a video to how to uh, how to uh, insert, delete, and update such files uh, in your uh, database. Uh, how to how to interact with them and uh, through T SQL queries. And uh, this is again a ETL part. I mean, where uh, uh, where you need to load the uh, load such files into your uh, system. Uh, I mean, RDBMS table systems with uh, with the help of SSIS package. So uh, let's see what we have here today. I have created a demo table uh, okay the table is something like this it's called load blob uh, which has an identity column ID stored path and document so let me create this table first okay I, I'll, I'll let you know uh, uh, each uh, each of them so first of all stored path will be uh, a column would be storing the path or where you are where uh, uh, where the files are actually residing from where I mean they have been loaded so what I have here in my C drive is um, there are a B and C three folders first we'll look at a and B folders a folder has a simple desert uh, I mean it's a JPG it's, a, it's an image file and uh, next uh, same is with the B I mean uh, in this folder we have another file and then we have a master text which is with the name of filepath.txt this file is actually holding the details if you would the directory path of the images which we are about to load through your ETL into your SQL server table I mean the table that we have just created uh, the load blob table so we would be loading with the help of this and through our import uh, transformation so let's take a look uh, how we do it so first of all I have an empty package here I've I've named it import export transformation so first and foremost let me uh, create a data flow task pull out uh, let me navigate into it uh, the first thing is the file source and this file source would be your uh, the master file I um, mean the flat uh, flat file let me just name it flat file connection and let me browse uh, to my file path.txt perfect and uh, in the advanced I just name this column as file path so this is uh, the preview if you would uh, I mean the column preview so okay we are through with this so we have a column with the name file path blah 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 it's fine with us the next and the important part which I wanted to show you is the actual transformation browse down to your transformation and you would be seeing seeing us an import column transformation pull out and now we will be configuring your import column transformation first move down to your import columns and check your file path this is going to be the uh, path where you will be 
uh, I mean which is th the master uh, path from where you will uh, which uh, which will be giving you the directory path of the files which are uh, which are required to be loaded the next and the important step is the impo in input and output properties here what you would see is in the input co input column in you will in the import uh, see the file path after you have checked in your import column uh, file path column it it will be shown in your path here the next and the important part is to import the column output so here in the output column you have to add a new column here you have to add a column name it i just put a name a uh, uh, document perfect now for this document field you would be seeing an id this is your id uh, take a note of it uh, uh, yeah before that also you would be seeing the uh, data type of the files that you are trying to upload i mean the uh, kind of a uh, document you would be uploading so since we are uploading an image so this is good for us uh, take a note of the id that you have here in the document and the next thing what you have to do is go to your import column input go to the file path and in the bottom at the bottom of it you will be having file data column id map the id to that of your document id it is 24 in this case so if you see this id should be mapped with your file path file data column id sounds good so that's good with our uh, configuration for us so that's it now the destination again uh, so we are going to load it on the table load blob so let me quickly just configure this one for you okay in my dev and we load it into load blob table perfect in the mappings here uh, ignore the ID since it's an identity column if you want to store the path from where uh, the data was loaded it's the file path for you if you do not want you can just ignore it you can choose to ignore that so for that I'm being I'll, I'm, I'm loading the path as well from where uh, uh, I am loading uh, the file and the document is the actual file which is uh, going to be loaded in this ETL process so we are through with this transformation uh, mm, configuration of the transformation let's just run this package and see if our data gets loaded so we have been able to load let me just show you right so if you see you have the id the file st uh, file path and the and the document so since this is uh, this is actually in the binary format the data has got loaded in the binary format so uh, how do we verify that yeah the data was actually loaded if you remember uh, I mean uh, we can verify it uh, in the reverse way that is the export column which uh, we would be looking at in our next video uh, demo session what is export column uh, transformation in SSIS but for time being let me just uh, go back to a couple of uh, my, I mean my last video where I had taught this through T-SQL so okay for T-SQL verification uh, this is first you have to uh, enable your OLE uh, automation procedures so for this database enable that next I have actually a C folder which is an empty one I just want to verify my files if they were loaded correctly or not right next I am just uh, pulling out the file for ID1 if you see for ID1 and uh, I am naming the file with new pick dot jpg and, and it's it will be getting loaded on the output path of c folder sounds good so these are this is the set of t sql which will actually uh, extract uh, the file from your database and put it in the path that we have specified here this is the output path if you see here this is the output path for for more details how to do with t sql i have a video there please refer refer that so for time being let me just pull out for you right and let me just browse yeah if you see in the c drive you have the picture 
retrieved so that was uh, uh, that that got stored and it's good for us next let me just pull out for id2 as well and name it as pick2 right i have the next one as well perfect so friends that was uh, that was a, a quick and a brief demo on uh, what is an import column transformation in ssis stay tuned for th the next export column which is the reverse one uh, which uh, pulls out the data from uh, documents from database and and and, and uh, uh, exports it to certain uh, file paths for you so thanks so much friends have a good day